Partner. All right, here's your dress for the day forecast. Get ready for another warm one, Joe. Humidity has been increasing the last couple of days, and we're going to have a chance, just like we have for most of the work week, for another afternoon shower to pop up across the area. 60s this morning, feeling nice. Here's our outlook for today. Uh, last couple of days, we've gone up a degree each afternoon. Today, we're topping out near 88 degrees for northwest Arkansas. We'll be in the upper 70s by mid morning, mid 80s by early afternoon. Again, I think we're going to range about 85 to 88. It's very common every day to have about a three, four degree range across the area. 20% uh, chance of an afternoon shower. Most of us stay dry once again, but that pop up shower cannot be rolled out. And again, every day we have had some pop up downpours somewhere in Benton, Washington, Madison and Carroll County. The River Valley has mostly seen the dry conditions. There's been a stray shower down there uh, for the Razorbacks. Again, first pitch today for the uh, Fayetteville Regional getting underway. We're looking for temperatures in the 80s. Game's been running about two and a half hours or so uh, with the pitch clock now kind of speed things up during the game. I got to go 10% chance cannot roll out a stray shower, especially as we get deeper into the afternoon. So something we'll have to watch, but it's minimal. If I had to put money on it, I say we're going to stay dry for the game with plenty of sunshine and warm weather. Again, plenty of sunshine. River Valley, upper 80s, low 90s yesterday. We're right back at it. We'll range about 88 to 91 degrees. Future track radar again as we look at the timestamp here getting later in the day. We've got just enough moisture, just enough lift, few spotty showers. I think Fayetteville down towards uh, or Bentonville to Fayetteville down towards Johnson, Pope Counties, Newton County is the area that has the best shot for one of those spotty showers, but can't roll it out anywhere. We've been talking all week long that those rain chances could be going going up on Saturday. We're still there right now hanging around a 50% chance. Here's the issue is we've got the disturbance pushing east across Oklahoma Saturday, but northeast flow is going to be putting the brakes on. Where does it stop? Does it stop in eastern Oklahoma or can the showers just push into western and northwestern Arkansas? Again, I do think we're going to likely see at least some scattered showers in western northwestern Arkansas, but you can see if you're near or west of the state line, you're going to have a better shot for rain and downpours and some lightning as we go through the day on Saturday, something the entire weather team will continue to watch for you as we go through the weekend. Uh, temperatures, if we can get the clouds and the rain to really bubble up across the area, take a little bit of a dip on Saturday. Upper 80s, low 90s, late weekend, early next week. Look at the temperatures across the area going down some. We're going to get a backdoor cold front, and that'll usher in a little bit of a cooler and drier air mass. And so we'll see the humidity levels going down as we work through the week next week as well. All right, not too bad. Um, looks like we'll be okay to enjoy the weekend. We're good to go. I mean, the rain chance isn't. It's that time of year out, where so. rain chance is going to be there all the time. Yeah. Most weekends are going to have a rain chance, so it's not that bad. It never stops us from getting out. We know how to live it up in five countries, yeah, so even people if it will be on about, us a little. Even if it rains, sometimes you want the rain. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Just uh, don't want the folks out there at the game this weekend. To We'd like to get all the games in on time. Yeah. All right. Well, stay with us. We got more heading your way right after this break.